guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninin, and for today's video, we're going to be doing another sunscreen review. Today we're reviewing the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion Sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum SPF 70. The active ingredients in here are avobenzone 3%, Homosalate 13%, octosalate 5%, and octocrylene 10%. So it's a pretty standard US sunscreen formulation. I picked this up from Target. Um, it's retailing for $36.99. You can also get it at Ulta right now. At Ulta, it's retailing for $28.49 there. And I believe you can find it at Amazon, CVS, your local drugstore, pretty much anywhere. They claim that it's lightweight. We'll talk about that. They claim that it's non-greasy, we'll also talk about that. And it's formulated with antioxidants and niacinamide, which is a vitamin B3, and they claim that it's a sheer lotion sunscreen. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on the back of my hand. Um, they do claim that this is fragrance-free. To me, it just smells like, it just smells like sunscreen. Nothing special about it. And the formula, oh, I didn't even show you. I just started rubbing. <laughs> the formula is sort of a thicker lotion texture leans a little bit more on the thicker side of things and it is very 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 moisturizing this is definitely one where i would say skip your moisturizer altogether because look at that compared to that this one dry cracked and then this one, moisturized, hydrated, very glowy. So I believe on their website, they're claiming this is more of a natural finish. To me, this is definitely giving dewy and glowy, and there's a sheen there. And I did test this one out on my eyes, and right off the bat, just so you know, this does irritate my eyes. It's not a burning sensation um, like I've had with some other sunscreens. It's more of just an irritation, slight, Stinging towards the end of the day. So day one when I wore it on bare skin uh, Initially, I felt like it was very moisturizing. I was like, okay, I can deal with this. It did feel Slightly a little bit heavy when I was rubbing it in just because it's more of that thicker richer texture um, But it spread out pretty easily and it settled in and it's looking a little bit more shiny and when I would touch my face, I could still feel a slight bit of residue, so it wasn't fully drying and settling into the skin. After 15 minutes, I wore it in window lighting, and as you guys can see, in window lighting, again, that glow is definitely there. And for some reason, the way that the light was reflecting from my face, it looks like there might be a bit of a cast, but I don't think in real life you see really any cast i think it, it was just the lighting in this situation um so no white cast and then after wearing it for two hours and coming back you guys can see that i look very shiny and i felt very slick it just kind of mm, it was too heavy it felt way too greasy so i went ahead and blotted and after blotting i reapplied reapplication was okay it was definitely heavier now that I had a couple layers of the sunscreen on and it definitely felt a little bit slick and heavy on my face so I wouldn't recommend reapplying with this one especially if you have oily skin it's gonna be a lot it's gonna feel like a lot so it was just too heavy um, <laughs> and it was a bit too slick as well I'd say so if you have oily skin you probably won't like it as much Initially when I wore it, I wasn't experiencing any irritation, but for some reason by the end of the day my face felt a little bit itchy and more sensitive um, And I was like, mm, maybe it's not the sunscreen. Maybe it's something else So then I wore it again the next day when I should have just I just should have just stopped right there So so the next day when I wore this I wore it with a moisturizer underneath and put the sunscreen on top and this was very unnecessary the sunscreen works on its own it on its own you're gonna be moisturized so you really don't need anything else under um because i put another moisturizer under it felt even heavier on day two than it did on day one and it was definitely not drying down or settling in it left me looking very dewy very shiny my face felt a little bit more 
even more slick than it did on day one. And then I actually didn't even wear this for a full two hours on day two because the itchiness started again. And by this point, it was a little bit more irritating. So I ended up just washing it off. So I don't have clips of like what it looks like two hours later, or I didn't like reapply with it two hours later with a moisturizer because it just was not working for me. Yeah. And then my dumb self put it on again the next day. I really should have just let it go. But I was like, we need to get the clips for the girls. They gotta know how this works with makeup. So I put it on again the next day and just so I could test it out with some makeup. And makeup actually went on it pretty well. I put makeup on top of it, everything was pretty smooth. There was no peeling, nothing like that. So it works well with makeup and it looks pretty good with makeup as well. So now that you've seen all the clips, I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts and who I think the sunscreen would work well for. Personally, as someone with oily skin, I think it's a no. <laughs> and I should say it's a no for my oily skin. It just felt a little bit too heavy. It had too much of a glow, which I don't really like. Um, and it felt dewy with some residue, which to me is not a sunscreen I would reach for in the summer months. Maybe in the winter, um, when I lead more combination and I want a little bit more oomph and moisture, it might be able to work, but I just didn't like my experience with it. If you have more dry skin, I would honestly almost say that this might be too shiny as well. But my friend who is dry skin said that she liked the way that it felt, so it could work for you. If you have acne prone skin, I did end up experiencing a little bit of breakouts where I just started to get some whiteheads, but it wasn't any like big cystic pimples or anything like that. So I think you might be okay if you have acne prone skin, but my acne prone skin, I had a little bit of breakouts. And I think because I had the irritation, the breakouts showed up a little bit more than you might experience. If you have sensitive skin like myself, it really depends. We're all sensitive to different things. My sensitive skin did not like this sunscreen. I had the itching, the irritation with it. If you, and then if you wear this with makeup, it should wear okay with makeup. You might need a little bit more powder if you like more of a matte finish, but if you like more of a glowy finish, it works as a nice base. It did end up irritating my eyes personally. I felt like when I put it on, at first it wasn't irritating, but by the end of the day, it kind of moved into my eyes and caused it to be a little bit more irritated. It wasn't burning um, or like red, but it was just a bit irritated. Those are my overall thoughts on the La Roche-Posay and the Leos UV Correct Daily Sunscreen Lotion, the US version. I did hear that there's a European version of this sunscreen, and I'm curious to know if it's um, similar. I doubt it. I'm sure that the active ingredients are different, which means the formula and texture might be different as well, but that's my review on the US 